Oh, welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom, and today we'll cook this London broil here, and I've never cooked the London broil before, so I hope it turns out good. I think it will because we'll do it in the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. So, anyway, I'm going to put an onion in the bottom of it, and we'll put some mushrooms on top of it, and we'll use some of this better than bouillon. I'm going to use some of this Montreal steak seasoning here. I'm going to try some of this. Found this yesterday, first time ever. Now, this is the first time ever we'll try to use this. It's that uh, brown sugar bourbon seasoning, another grill mates. And so, next thing to do is get my better than bouillon ready to put in this Ninja Foodie Deluxe and get started. Okay, now I know this is not a true teaspoon, but I don't know about how much of this I want in that. Uh, Cup right there to make about a cup and a half of of uh, what did I say the name of it was? Better than bouillon, yeah. Now the hotter you get your water on this, the better off you are because the better it will dissolve and everything. And so you want to dissolve up pretty good. You know, and you can always look down through your measuring cup there and see about what it's doing. It says boiling water. And I just put this in the microwave. You know, I got it from about the boiling. And it's all dissolved, so I must have had it real close to boiling. Alright, so we just set that aside for a second. Now we're going to go ahead and pour this down in the Ninja Food and Deluxe over here. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is cut up this onion. I just want both the ends off of it, sort of. And this is one of those situations where you got one growing inside the other if you've never seen that before. Now see this is a completely different onion down here. <laughs> that's uh that's the peeling of it. So now see now we've got to get this peel off. Okay, now after I finished getting this onion the way I wanted it to look, it didn't look near as good as uh, I wanted it to, so, or big enough as I wanted it to, so I got me another one and peeled it. Now I'm just going to cut this into uh, chunks. You know, I don't want, I'm not slicing it or dicing it or any of that stuff. Just uh, cut it into pieces like this. Cut any way you want to. This is just the way I like to do it. I'll do this one over here the same way. Look how hot it is. Well, not too bad. Pretty good. Now, get my chopping scoop out here. And scoop it up. Put it right on over here in the Ninja Fetty Deluxe pot. This ought to be one time I've about got enough onions in here, I think. Usually I don't never get enough onions in there. Next thing we're going to do is take this trivet here that came with this Ninja Foodie Deluxe and put down the bottom of the spot right on top of those onions. Okay, now I found a pretty good sized piece of this uh, silver skin on the back of this. And I don't especially like it on there. It's very appetizing looking. Let's see if I can get a little more of it off here. I know this is not the right kind now to do this with, but that's what I got in my hand. Let's 
so just try to get up under it like that pull up on it yeah I'll let that get away from me anyway I've got the majority of it so now wipe my hands off a little bit here I'm gonna take this uh, Montreal steak seasoning here sprinkle on top of it I'm gonna take some of this brown sugar seasoning here put a little more of that on there than that uh, Montreal steak seasoning Looks pretty good right there. All right, now we'll just turn him over. Now with your clean hand that you hadn't handled the meat with, you come back and you do the same thing for this side. in there with this good old I hope it's good <laughs> like I said I've never tried this before but we're gonna see how it is that's this brown sugar bourbon seasoning all right now we're gonna pick it up over here right over here and put it down on this rack that's those onions that's going to be good just by itself alright now I'm going to take the pressure lid that goes on this Ninja Food Deluxe here and put it on line up your arrows just right here and turn it clockwise so it locks into position make sure your valve back here is set to seal and not vent make sure it's in sealing position and come over here and turn on your power turn it over here to pressure and then on your time over here you hit your time button when it starts flashing run it on up 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 So an hour. Now hit your start button. Okay, now I'll let you know how long it takes for that button to come up back there. But it's going to take it a few minutes with as much stuff as it's got in it. Although I did heat that uh, water up some, so that should help. So we'll see if it does or not. So, like I said, I'll let you know how long it takes. Okay, that's been 12 minutes. <clears throat> And it's not showing any signs of popping up yet, although there's some steam coming out around there. But I wish you could smell the aroma of these uh, onions mixing with that uh, bouillon and that uh, beef. That is something. That is really smelling good in here already. Okay, and there it is. At 14, just right at 14 minutes is exactly what it took to come up. Now I still will take it another couple minutes to uh, start counting down that hour here because these little lights still like to chase each other around for a minute or two. Okay, now it took it another two minutes exactly for it to start counting down. So that's uh, 16 minutes from the time I hit the start button the time it started counting down to zero. So we'll be back. Okay, now I want to start getting some of these potatoes here ready to go in this pot. And these are uh, these little red potatoes here, and they, they are they're pretty thin skin, so I'm not going to do anything except wash them and, and uh, cut them up a little bit. I'm going to let them right there for the time being, so I don't want to dry them off before I cut them. I 
don't look like very many potatoes, does it? I think I will get one more to go in there. <laughs> okay, now I've got my four all washed up here and ready to go. Now, of course, if you see any bad spots in here, you cut them out and stuff like that. Now, I've cooked roast like this before, but I know how to try to learn to broil. So, it's going to be a little different. Anyway, so, we'll have to see how it goes, but I bet you it's going to be really good. So. Okay, now I'm just going to, like I say, I'm not cutting these into real small pieces or anything, just, uh, let's cut it in half one more time. keep on like this while I get them all chopped up about that size pieces like that. See? About like that. So I'll be back when I finish. Okay, now we're going to cut up like I'll put a little olive oil on them. Okay, then we'll put some Mrs. Dash on them. fixed any potatoes like this or not, but if you just fix potatoes like this just by yourself, they're delicious. Now, I'm going to tell you what, you can put them like this and just bake them up, and you got you some great potatoes right there now. Alright, now, we go wait for this time to finish up over here. Okay, now we're down under 30 seconds on this first cook here, and it's not going to be long before I'm ready to release that valve back there. <clears throat> now, if this is all I was going to do this, I'd just go ahead and let it sit there and rest for another 10 or 15 minutes, but i got more to do to it, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick release when it hits zero here. And it's probably going to take it about 5 or 10 minutes for that, uh, for it to, uh, Finish something off steam. Okay, now the pin just fell on this and took six minutes and 14 seconds. I will turn this counterclockwise, lift it straight up and away from your face. Set it down right there for the time being, and I'm going to show you down this pot and let you see all this goodness I see right now. And this looks delicious. Just like it is, but we're not through yet because we got a lot more to do. But boy, that looks good. That looks really good. So now the next thing we're going to do, we'll take some of these white mushrooms that I got. And I washed them off here, and we'll dump them down in there. That little guy's not going to escape. Oh, you should smell that down. In, you should smell the aroma coming out of there. I'm going to take these potatoes that we fixed up, dump them down in there. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm going to take these carrots I got here. This is a one pound, this is one pound of baby carrots. All right. Okay, now, now it's looking like a plan here. Now, I'll take the pressure lid, right, right back over here and line up your arrows in the front, you know, and, and turn it on till it locks. 
And then we're going to come back over here, if I get loose my cord there. We'll turn the power back on. It's back on the pressure over here. It's on 10 minutes, so we don't want it on 10 minutes. Because we'll go hit it and it starts flashing. We'll go up to 30 minutes. Okay, now we'll go hit the start button. Now, it's probably going to take it another 5 or 6 or 7 minutes for it to come up to pressure again. Even though it's already hot down in there. So, while you're waiting, if y'all can, check out our links down below. You might see something down there you like from Amazon. I try to put everything down there I use, but sometimes I don't or I forget or whatever, you know. But anyway, check it out sometime. Okay, now we're down to our last minute of cooking on this thing. Now this, this does take quite a while to fix, but it's well worth it once you get finished with it. And another thing is, once you put it in there, you've got an hour to do whatever you need to do around the house, you know. And when you, when you start at this time, you got 30 minutes to go do what you need to do. So it's not like you're having to stand here with it all the time. So just, you know, just depends on how bad you want a real good meal. Now this is another one of those, uh, it'd be a one-pot meal. And this, this is really good. Like I say, that the, the time and the effort is really worth it, if you ever try it. So we're down to 17 seconds, and when it finishes, it gets down to zero. I'm going to give it a quick release, and it's going to take about 10 or 12 minutes for it to release the, all the steam, and then we'll go up in this pot and see what we've got. And so there it goes. And there goes the steam. So we'll be back. Alright, now it's been releasing the pressure for a little over eight minutes, and so the pin is bound to be getting ready to drop here, and we're about to get ready to get in here and get something to eat. Okay, and there it went. It's eight minutes and 55 seconds. Alright, counterclockwise up and away from your face. Hmm. Looks like a veggie medley right there now. Let's just see what this looks like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is so good. It'll be so good. Now, I'm going to try just to dump it right down in this pot and take this rack out. I want it right down in all those juices if I can get it in there without making a mess here. Yeah. Alright, just about all that went down there. That's just what I wanted. Get off our mushroom. Didn't burn myself up one little time. I just want you to see how easy this knife goes through this. Now of course you're cutting across the grain but I'm not putting any pressure on this knife. I'm just letting it fall through there as I go back and forth. And there it is, just like that. And I'll tell you what, that's a delicious London broil right there. Just like that. That is really good. Good, good, good. All right now, see if we get some of these veggies out here and put down in here. And of course, we gotta get a bunch of that juice with it. You know. Oh yeah. Hmm. Pour a little bit of that gravy over top of that uh, that London broil there. Spruce him up a little bit. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, that just about melting your mouth. I'll try another little piece of it here. Okay, now that's about it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I hope you try this sometime. Like I say, it's not the quickest thing in the world to do, but it's well worth your time and effort to go ahead and do it. You know, and 
If I'd have thought about it, I'd put some celery in here too. I love celery. But, uh, oh well, another one of those senior moments, you know. <laughs> so, till next time, y'all have a real good and safe day, and don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands and stay away from everybody. And so, till next time, goodbye now.